It's July 3rd, 1940. The Battle of Mirz el-Kabir takes place in the port of Mirz el-Kabir, located in French Algeria, which is present-day Algeria. The battle involved the British Royal Navy and the French Navy, specifically the French fleet in port. At the time, France had recently surrendered to Nazi Germany, and the British were concerned that the French fleet would fall into German hands and pose a threat to their own naval forces. In an effort to neutralize this potential threat, the British Admiralty issued an ultimatum to the French fleet. They were to either join the British, sail to a neutral port, or disarm. The French Admiral, Marcel Bruno Jansoul, refused the ultimatum as he saw it as a betrayal of the French-German armistice agreement. In response, the British launched a naval attack on the French fleet. In a devastating 20-minute bombardment, the British warships, which included the battleships HMS Hood, HMS Valiant, and the aircraft carrier Arc Royal, attacked the French ships. The French battleship Britannia was hit and exploded, while other vessels were severely damaged. The French Navy retaliated but suffered significant losses. The battle resulted in the sinking of one French battleship, one destroyer, and one seaplane carrier, with several other vessels damaged. Approximately 1,297 French sailors lost their lives in the attack. The British, in turn, lost several aircraft and suffered casualties as well. The Battle of Mirz el-Kabir had significant diplomatic and strategic implications. It strained Anglo-French relations and deepened the rift between the French government and the Allies. The event highlighted the complexities and challenges faced by both sides during this tumultuous period of the war, as well as the difficult decisions that had to be made in the face of conflicting national interests. 